Good afternoon, Syracuse. I'm Alex Miko, and this is your Thursday Citrus TV News Brief. There's new information about the San Bernardino shooting that killed 14 and injured 21 people yesterday. The motive of the massacre by Saeed Rizwan Farouk and wife Tashfin Malik is still unknown, but intelligence sources say that Farouk was radicalized and in contact with people who are being investigated for terrorism. Police engaged in a shootout with the two last night that left both suspects dead. A third suspect was taken into custody after the shootout, but his involvement has not yet been confirmed. Another business is set to close on Marshall Street. Yogurtland, the popular frozen yogurt shop, announced that their doors will close for good on December 19th. The store is offering a goodbye special to their loyal SU community. The NCAA Infractions Committee announced today that it has denied Jim Beheim's appeal after they imposed restrictions on Syracuse men's basketball team last March. Beheim will begin serving his nine-game suspension December 5th. He will not coach or have contact with the team until January 5th. Check back for Citrus TV News live at 6 for more information. NBC's live musical performance of The Wiz is airing tonight. This is the network's third live musical production. The show's lead is played by newcomer Shanice Williams, an 18-year-old New Jersey native. The Wiz also stars Queen Latifah and Stephanie Mills, who played Dorothy in the original Broadway production. The Wiz airs tonight at 8 p.m. There have been on and off showers throughout the day today with a high of 43 degrees. It's currently 39 degrees with some rain and possible flurries tonight. Check back at 6 for Jamie Weiss's full weather forecast. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Check back at 6 for your full news coverage. Check back at 7.30 for talking points. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News. I'm Alex Amico. Have a great night, Syracuse.